AEW has only existed since 2019, making it only four years old, but my word, what an eventful four years it has been. Many moments, many matches, and while there of course have been many bangers in AEW, there of course also exists their fair share of stinkers. And today, we're going to discuss a few of them, with these being my personal picks for some of the worst matches in AEW history. And all for a variety of different reasons. My name is Tom, you're watching the Top 10 Wrestling Channel, so be sure to like and subscribe right now as we discuss the worst AEW matches of all time. Let's begin. So the first match to discuss is the match that took place between Luchasaurus and Cesar Bononi on the 10th of March 2021 edition of AEW Dark. And now on paper, this match seems like the exact kind of match that I would like and the exact kind of match that I would enjoy because it's two big meaty men and they're surely going to be slapping some meat soon, right? Well, not quite. Let's go ahead and watch this match. Because there is a very key reason as to why this match is very low rated. So like I said, it's the March 10th edition 2021 of AEW Dark. AEW Dark number 80 is Luchasaurus versus Caesar Bononi. It's during the pandemic era. The crowd is still empty. I hate looking at the pandemic era shows. I just never want to go back to this era of wrestling. The match starts off really weird as the two are trying to take each other down. And Excalibur and Taz bring on their shenanigans on commentary, which lasts for the entire match and is the best part of the match which kind of tells you everything about what was going on in the ring anyway i need to stop foreshadowing but i say that when there's really nothing to talk about in this match spot wise there was no notable spots nothing special it was just a standard aew dark pandemic era match and if you watched any of dark during the pandemic you know exactly what i mean pretty much any aew dark match during this era was just for farming purposes it was just to give people wins and this match was no different luchasaurus dominates throughout the match the only time caesar bononi is ever really in control is when peter avalon at ringside gets involved but it's also peter avalon's involvement that costs caesar bononi the match as he gets involved and gets karma as luchasaurus takes him out and then luchasaurus hits the crater for a near fall and then he hits the choke slam and a moonsault for the actual one two three on caesar bononi to win this match now that wasn't too bad just a bit slow just a bit dull but fine for a match that is free on youtube it isn't really something to write home about and like i said it's exactly how you'd expect a dark match from this time to be in aew so why am i talking about it why is it on the list of the worst aew matches of all time and the reason why is because of a botch that got edited out of the match this match is part of an aew dark episode Episode that was actually re-uploaded because they edited out a botch which showed a very awkward moment and a miscommunication between the two in the ring as they were both going for a move then they stopped and then reset the spot as Taz and Excalibur and commentary were like oh okay and they just left it in like AEW Dark is literally a pre-recorded show how do you just let that slide in there like Luchasaurus and Caesar Bononi have clearly done that with the with the thought that yeah surely this is gonna get edited out they just clearly assumed that but no it went out and the whole world saw it the next match to discuss is a match that has been widely regarded as the worst match in AEW history and the worst match of the year that it happened in I am of course referring to Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara from AEW All Out 2020 a match that pretty much killed the show that it was on. The match starts and there's no entrances as the match is starting on the football field and Matt Hardy is calling for Sammy Guevara to turn up and of course Sammy Guevara does turn up chasing him in the golf cart. And the bell rings as Sammy Guevara tries to run over Matt Hardy with the golf cart but he does miss and the two start brawling backstage. The first big bump of the match sees Matt Hardy hit a DDT to Sammy Guevara on a table and then Matt Hardy and Sammy Guevara get on top of a cherry picker and then Matt Hardy looks to side effect Sammy Guevara off of it through a table down below but Guevara is able to get out of it and spears him through the table off the cherry picker and oh my god Hardy's head bounced off of the concrete. And just after seeing that 
We need to end this match right now. Hardy is clearly out of it and he is clearly concussed and Aubrey starts counting because this is a last man standing match. And Hardy, well, Hardy is booked to win so he gets back up as the match for some reason continues. This was obviously not the planned finish and from here the match is extremely hard to watch as it's a sluggish affair as Matt Hardy is quite literally being dragged as he can barely move and he is completely out of it. The AEW doctor finally turns up onto the scene as Aubrey Edwards throws up the X indicating that Matt Hardy is legitimately injured and the bell rings as the match is stopped and Guevara is carried away and thank god they're not continuing with the match. A good decision there from AEW. But, but then the match just starts continuing. Despite the bell ringing, Matt Hardy gets up and starts walking towards the ringside area where Sammy Guevara has already walked himself to. The commentary team and the production team seemingly have no idea whether or not this is continuing as Sammy goes to climb a pylon and Matt Hardy follows him and punches him off as he crashes through the stage and Aubrey counts to 10. Clearly, they were just going in to finish the match and bring it home and give Matt Hardy the win, but still, they didn't need to do that, in my opinion. The match went on for way too long as it was after the spot. After that happened, the match should have been stopped immediately. Matt Hardy should have not been continuing. They left it way too long before the X was thrown up. And yeah, Matt Hardy just needed to be treated by the doctor rather than going to finish the match. Let's be real here. I really don't get why they didn't stop it. They could have easily used that for fuel in the storyline. And obviously they did in the end, but it would have been even better if the match had stopped then and there and Sam Guevara could brag about the win in that way. But instead, Sam Guevara's just lost to a man who was very clearly concussed and now he himself just looks kind of weak. And for the final AEW match of the video to discuss is Britt Baker, Rebel and Penelope Ford versus Big Swole in a 3 one handicap match that took place on the 27th of August 2020 AEW Dynamite. And I say 3 one handicap match, this match was actually technically a 2-on-1 because Britt Baker was still injured and on a wheelchair at this point so she had no actual part in this match. This is during the build to Britt Baker and Big Swole's tooth and nail match that took place at AEW All Out 2020, which was an equally awful match, a match that is also often called the worst in AEW history, but I opted not to talk about that one as it's been discussed to death, and I want to talk about this match instead because it's just as bad. We start off with everyone in the ring at once as the numbers game immediately gets to Swole before the ref officially rings the bell as Penelope 4 lifts up Big Swole and immediately botches as she nearly drops Big Swole but somewhat recovers it and rolls over. Penelope 4 continues to take it to Big Swole before she takes a headbutt from Swole and then tags out to Reba and we are now about to see Reba versus Big Swole on TV which... Oh god, on paper, that is just not good, is it? Penelope Ford hits her corner move before Reba hits a knee and then slowly struggles to get to the top rope. This gives Swole time to take both her and Penelope out as she hits a decent looking top rope Rana in what is probably the best moment of the match. Big Swole then takes out Kip Sabian who's at ringside distracting the ref but the numbers game comes into play again and Reba hits a second rope moonsault for a near fall. The ref is distracted again as Penelope holds Swole back and Reba looks to hit her with the crutch but Swole moves out the way and Penelope is hit by the crutch instead and listen, I say hit generously that crotch did not touch her, and it did not look good. And then for whatever reason, Reba just starts selling and just rolls out the ring after the follow through from the crotch swing, and then Big Swole just pins Penelope to win the match off of the crotch hit. Just a dreadful finish with zero ring psychology. Like, what on earth is Reba doing here? So yeah, Big Swole got the win in a two-minute match, and nobody came out of this looking good. Swole had to win off of a heel miscommunication, so she doesn't even look strong. Reba just looked straight up dreadful in this match after the finish. And Penelope Ford, who was just fresh off challenging for the women's title against Sheeta in a great match just weeks prior, had all her momentum just come to a halt with this match. This match was literally good for nobody and was only a piece of a storyline that was leading up to a match that was even worse than this one. 